Hey there, and welcome to another Glue tutorial. Let's talk about the repeater dynamic tag, one of the many dynamic tags that comes packaged with the fluid dynamic power of Glue. Without further ado, let's begin. In this video, you'll be shown how to use this dynamic tag to pass data into any elemental widget or listings and get the repeater to work just the way we all want it to. Here is an example of what we'll be working on. Here is a bar chart and a group of progress bars. As you can see, this information is fetched from a repeater field and there are a number of repeater fields within this repeater. And as you can see, for 2023, if we should take this off, let's delete this. That was November, that was gone. Let's delete August too. And then we can update this. Let's come to the front end and refresh this. As you can see, there's August and November here. And also here, let's refresh this and see what happens. As you can see, now we have to July. And it just works right out of the box. How did we make this work? You'll find out now. First off, let's get you familiar with our setup. We created a CPT, or custom post type, and we named it Stats. We used Jet Engine to create this custom post type, and you can use whatever you wish. However, after creating the custom post type, we added new posts, 2022 measure of growth, 2023 measure of growth. To the post types, we added meta boxes, just one meta box. We gave it a name, we pointed it at stats, which was the post type we created, and we added a new meta field called repeater. And this repeater, within the repeater, we had two text fields, one month, the other numbers. And as you can see, that is what we have here, the month and the number. For this, this is March 54, April 22, maybe 78 and so on. Now, let's see how we made all of this work inside Elementor. But first of all, let us toggle on the repeater dynamic tag, as you can see here. Just make sure this is toggled on and now we can work with it within Elementor. This is a single Elementor template and this has been assigned to the post called stats. However, we now need to add the widgets. It's called um, charts. So let's drag this in, the bar chart in here. This is a widget provided by Jet Elements. However, you can use any plugin that provides you with this widget as you wish. As far as it has this dynamic tag and you can add our glue functionality to it. So for the labels, let's select the repeater tag and would come into the repeater tag, would say it's jet engine because that's what we used. You can use ACF2, we select post, it's the current post, correct? And now we need to set the repeater field and the subfield. Let's go in here, find the repeater field, it's called stats, let's copy the name. And the subfield that we need to use is called month. So let's come back into Elementor and paste the name stats and the name month as the subfield. Once that's done, we'll say this is a collective output and would we'll output it as a delimiter. Once we do that, let's delete all of this. Let's increase this range to 100 because it's in percentages, it's just the way we set it up. Let's add the step size to 10 and that's about what we need to do with this setup right here. Now, for this one that reads Google, let's delete it and let's add a new label and just call it monthly growth. Let's just call it monthly growth. As you can see, that now appears here. That's cool. Now, the data is to be fetched manually, but we want it to be fetched automatically. So we're going to use the dynamic tag. We're going to come to repeater tag here. We're going to set the repeater tag to jet engine because that's what we used. We set it to post. We'd say it's current post because we needed to fetch it from the current post. We'd say the field is um, stats as we did before. 
and the subfield we're going to use this time numbers because that is the field that carries the numbers so we just copy that in and paste it right here once that is done we'll toggle on collective outputs because we needed to fetch all the fields in all the repeaters so we're going to select that and the limiter separated value of comma by default, the delimiter is comma and that is just about fine. As you can see, that right away draws in March, April, May, June, July for the year of 2023. How easy is that? Let's update this. If we come to the front end and refresh this now, let's see for the year of 2022, we have this working for the year of 2023, we have this working awesome now let's go back into the dashboard and see how this can work with listings into the dashboard would come to jet engine listings would open it in a new tab would add a new listing would say this should fetch from a repeater field as the listing source would say it's um, stats which is the cpt we created Let's say the repeater source is Jet Engine and not ACF, even though we can use that. But let's use Jet Engine. And now we we'll have to set the repeater field name, which, if you remember, was stats. We give it a name, let's just call it um, Statistics Listing. And we want the listing view to be Elementor and not Gutenberg, so we will create the listing item. Now, let's search for Progress Bar progress bar we'll drag this in here now it needs to fetch the data manually but we need it to fetch it dynamically so right now we're just gonna click on the dynamic tag scroll down to repeater tag click on it so now notice that there is a new toggle at the very bottom called follow listing mode so if we toggle this on you'd see it fetch the repeater field of stats the one we use to set up this listing now, all we need to set up is the subfield. So we give it a subfield of month. Okay. Now that that's done, we'll leave everything else as is. We'd come back into this, we'd find the percentage here, and we want to fetch this dynamically too. So select the repeater tag, follow listing mode, we'll select the subfield, but this time we need it to be the numbers. Yes. Once that's done, we can close that out. The inner text, let's um, make it fetch the exact same field as the title. So let's just click on it. We can set the repeater subfield to month. Now that that is done, we'd hit update and we are done creating this listing. Don't worry, if nothing is being populated right now, we will populate it within the single post template. Let's go back into the single post template. Let's add a new listing. Let's just type in listing, listing grid. Let's drag in these widgets that was provided by Jet Engine for the listings and let us select the listing. What did we call it? Statistics listing. We we'll select that, we'll select the column number to be one just so we can so just one and as you can see right out of the box it has populated all the data that we had within the repeater fields that was easy once we're done we hit update let's come to the front end let's refresh for 2023 and see what now shows up ha ah, awesome let's refresh for 2022 and see what now shows up wonderful now, you'd notice that whenever you create a new post, it just takes on the single post template and it makes your life a whole lot easier. As many times as you wish to delete items from this list to add items to the list, it will continue to dynamically evolve within this template, all with the power of the dynamic repeater tag. So one question, can we not use ACF? We can, and let us show you how. Let's give a new custom field title. Let's call it stats for show. Hmm. Let's add a field. This field, let's say it's a repeater field. And we'll give it a name. Um, 
month and number repeater. Once we're done, we'd come in here to the subfields, we'd add a new subfield, we call it month repeater. Just give it any name you want to give it. This is a text field. Let's add another text field for the numbers and say number repeater. Whatever you wish to call it. Now we'll assign this to the post stats and we'll hit publish. Now if we come into stats, open a new post, there is stats for show. Now, let's recall the name of our repeater field, month and number repeater. And the name of our month repeater is called month repeater. And the name of our number repeater is called number repeater. Now let's come into the Elementor single template that we created before. Let's change this from jet engine to ACF, just to be sure that this works. Now the context is post and current post. The repeater field is not stats. It's called month and number repeater. The repeater subfield is called month repeater because that is what we have for month. And now, as you can see, for 2023, it fetches July, August, September, and October because that is, of course, what we added here. Now, for the monthly growth, we're going to change this from Jet Engine to ACF. And we'll set the repeater field just like we did before to month and number repeater and the repeater subfield to number repeater once that is done as you can see it now populates all our data correctly we hit updates we come to the front end we refresh this and everything is done so you can use the power of acf of any meta fields you create Mix and match it with repeaters and glues functionality and you will achieve a superb looking sweet awesome single template That was the repeater dynamic tag you should check out glue.oo for more of this good stuff And be sure to subscribe to our youtube channel so you don't miss out on new magic such as this Hit that like button if you like this and we will be back with more see you soon